Good morning. There are calls by some Tory MPs for the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, to resign over the UK's chaotic response to the Ukrainian refugee crisis. As the government announced, Ukrainian refugees in Calais will have to travel a further 70 miles to obtain a UK visa in Lille. Enough for these refugees. It seems now they're being passed from pillar to post by the Home Office. Well, more than two million refugees have now fled Ukraine, the UN says. Many have been crossing the border into Chemyshel in Poland, where the man in charge of the humanitarian response there says they're struggling to cope with the number of people arriving. Nick Dixon is in southeast Poland, near to the Ukraine border, and sent this report. Also this morning, Starbucks, Pepsi, Co Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Yeah, this is very welcome news. About time too, I featured in some of those scam adverts. Susanna, I know you have as well. People always get in touch saying, is this true about this diet you're recommending or this Bitcoin investment? And it has been so frustrating. Mm. So it's very welcome news. Absolutely. And congratulations to Martin. It's, it was an incredible campaign. Um, and, uh, and Good morning. There are calls for the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, to resign over the UK. Martin Lewis speaking there. And it's so good that action is being taken on that. Let's make it easier to take them down. Three cheers for Martin Lewis. Absolutely. To you. And speaking of the Transport Secretary, Grant Shapps, he has said that 760 visas have been granted to Ukrainian refugees and over 20,000 more have applied to come to the UK. However, well, more than two million refugees have now fled Ukraine, the UN says. Many have been crossing the border into Poland, where the man in charge of the humanitarian response there says they're struggling to cope with the number of people arriving. Nick Dixon was in southeast Poland, near to the Ukraine border, and sent this report. Also this morning, the company that runs Pizza Hut and KF just undiscovered shipwrecks. And I've been reading the mission leader said it was a jaw-dropping moment when that underwater camera showed the shot of the nameplate and they realised what ship it's it was. It's a real Titanic moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 107 years. Of the and they said it's remarkably preserved. It looks amazing. The timbers are there. It's upright, just, you know. Are they planning to, are they planning to raise it? To bring I don't, they can't disturb it because it's a designated monument. So Sander.com 20% off now free UK delivery and returns.